Hello and welcome. This is Kristen from Life of Crafting and I'm doing a series of cards sharing that I did on a week and a half vacation. I use, um, I usually go at this time of year and it's always the last weekend of February that there is a event called Scrap Away Getaway and it's in Ocean City, New Jersey and it's basically a, a scrapbooking weekend about 150, 200 women in there scrapbooking, but I like to do cards and so does my friend Vicki. So I will take another week of time prior and go down by myself in the in the room and make cards. And then the event is Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the at the last weekend of February. So Vicki will join me usually Thursday night, Thursday day. And most of the time we kind of do our own thing. Like we talk about what we're going to do, but usually I have my stuff that I bring and I prep and she kind of has her own. There's been a few times where we have like stuff and we kind of do them together, but this was a little bit different. Both her and I needed sympathy cards for one. Her and I unfortunately have had a lot of need for them lately. And my premise of making cards is I use them as giveaways to put in the purchases that people make for my online retail store that I own with my husband. So most of those cards are thank you, birthday, or Christmas. Other than that, I try not to do something like sympathy, even though most people could probably use them. It just doesn't seem, you know, people are making purchases. I want them to feel happy. Um, I was selling a lot, lot, lot of uh kid and baby items previous to the last several years. So I was doing baby cards, but honestly, I have kind of not been doing that so much. I'm more Christmas oriented now. So I haven't been doing the baby cards either. So my husband really wants generic. Don't get me why. I mean, there's women that have birthdays as much as men. So I, you know, he doesn't like the very feminine looking card. I'm like, whatever, dear, just whatever. So her and I were talking in preparation to go down and she was like, you know, I need sympathy. I was like, yeah, I need sympathy. And she's like, I need a lot of thank you. I'm like, well, I can always use thank you. But Vicky's a very, um, she buys her stuff. She'll get into a collection of stamping up and she buys like that whole like collection of it. She'll make a bunch of stuff with that collection. And then when she's done, she's done. Like she, she gets rid of the stamps, the dyes and, and just, everything it's it's cracks me up like I have seen her throw like almost like a half a sheet of paper like in the trash I'm like whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute like you could still use that no when she's done she's done and it's it just cracks me up I don't know what else to say about it but this particular paper is different this particular paper came out from stamping up several years ago I may be 2016 17 latest has to be 18. This was a paper called Forever Greenery from Stamping Up. And it was, oh my God, it was a huge suite for them. They had the stamps, the dies, the ribbons, all kinds of embellishments. They had, I think, even like different papers that were like, like specialty papers to go with it. There was so much to this pattern. I mean, it was huge. I can't express it. There were so many colors of green that were in all the different prints. This is just two of the prints. And, well, there's four. You can see four of them here. And I'm telling you, there had to be six different colors of green. So this was great because it was a very, like, versatile, like, you could mix and match a lot of what you may have already had in your stash, but then you could also bring in more. She went crazy in buying this. I'm going to tell you, I don't know how many different ribbons she bought, how many of the um, packs of paper. She, these uh, rings, I don't know if you can see there's a ring on here. Some of them she was able to get from Stampin' Up. Some of them she bought off of Etsy and then like spray painted them. Got some color of, uh, got some glue on here, sorry. Um, it always bothers me. So it was, like I said, huge. When I'm telling you, they were using the stamps and they were doing them in all kinds of like fall colors. And so the stamps and dyes were like a whole nother wave of inspiration. So there's been so much stuff out there featuring this. But then even after doing this paper, I want to say 
it was in their everyday catalog. So even after they released this, came out like in May, then like they do like a November limited edition print, then they came out with this one that was called Forever Eden. And this came out and it coordinated with it and it had the same like 12 prints, you know, the six combinations. And one side of the combination, you can't see on this one that much, but all of it had a foil, a gold foil accent to the prints that came out with this. And like I said, they coordinated with all of the prints in this. So when you got, there may have even been more in this release with the Forever Eden. When you started adding this stuff up, there was, it was crazy how much. So when we were talking about getting prepped to go down there, she was like, you know what? I need sympathy, but I want to get rid of this Forever Green. I'm like, it's been here. There's a ton. And I said, you know what? I started doing some cards with that last year when we went down. I have this partial pack. It's, you know, whatever. Let's just do it. So her and I went down. We had nothing planned. She brought whatever she had of her stuff. I brought whatever I had. I tried to remember the different colors of green that were in there. So when we got down there, we just took one tub and we threw everything we had in there. Ribbons, these embellishments, everything. And of course we get down there and the thing I forgot was sentiments. So I wound up going over to the Close to My Heart rep and buying a kit that was a card kit. And in there was this stamp set. And if you haven't heard Close to My Heart, just said this past week that they are closing business up. So so sad to hear that. I think they have probably been one of my favorites for um, sentiments. And like I said, I was so appreciative to have Close to My Heart rep there and then to have something like this stamp set because we needed different sentiments because of her, like I said, she wanted thank you. I wanted thank you. You know, like we needed all that. This stamp set came in and it was so versatile. It had the sympathy in it. It had the thank you. It had the birthday. I mean, look at this. It has baby. It, it, this was so great. I don't even remember what the stamp or what the rest of the set was. Like I said, it was supposed to be some kind of like a monthly kind of kit that they do or something. I don't know. But all of my sentiments came out of this because I didn't have anything else with me. And then what I'm showing you here is I took several different sketches with me. I knew this paper was a beautiful print and I really felt that the print itself was going to be doing all the work or wanting most of it to do the work because I wasn't sure, like I said, what she was bringing. I wasn't bringing really, I didn't really bring anything other than the papers and the card stocks. Um, so I wasn't sure, like I said, with her, I knew she had a lot, but I didn't know what it was. She just would tell me she had ribbons or whatever. So I brought this sketch from Jess Crafts. She has a website, JessCrafts.com, and on there she has a lot of different templates. And most of them are on there with sketches that have no scraps when they're done, which again, my point and her point was we wanted this paper gone. So this template number three was great because when you cut everything out of the 12 by 12 sheet, you weren't left with anything besides um, you know, a finished card. So we did this and the only thing that started to become a little difficult was like when I did this one, I didn't have, this was a different, there was different greens in this than there were in there and I didn't have that. So we chose to do these ones with gold. I had, oh my God, I had scraps that somebody had sold me like at a yard sale what it was like a big box and it was like papers and scraps and they were like a demonstrator so there was like these partial kits that were thrown in there this was like something that they had on there that was like knotted up and I just cut them off and I told her I said just throw them on there we're just doing anything and everything to just use up and get rid of this stuff and I will be honest we did ooh. I want to say 84 cards because Vicky's another one. She just like cuts and cuts and cuts. And I looked at her. I'm like, how many have you cut? And she's like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, well, then let's just stop wherever she was like cutting at because it was kind of like half of what we had brought with us. And I said, let's just do that because I want to make sure we get this done because this was on the first day. This was on the Friday. And I'm like, I want to just make sure we get these done 
and we have something to show for it after the weekend. So this took us, um, we tag teamed it. Like I did the tying of the bows and the stamping where she did like the paper cutting and we had, unfortunately didn't bring like any, I mean, we, we weren't knowing what we needed. We didn't bring like a punch. So she had to die cut all the circles um, had we thought about it ahead of time and I knew she was bringing the rings, I would have had her measure the, the rings and I would have brought a punch if she didn't have that size or whatever. But, um, she wound up calling her husband and having him bring all her circular punches because she's probably about 10 minutes away from the venue and none of the sizes she had fit these, um, these rings. So that left her having to go back and die cut all these out. And like I said, it was like 84 or something. I don't know. It was crazy. But, you know, so we kind of tag teamed it. One did all the cutting for the bases. One of us did the layers and, you know, back and forth we went. And, you know, one of us, I think I did all the, the gluing of the papers while she was doing the, you know, the die cutting or whatever. So this was what we came up with. There is some other versions of the paper, but you get the idea. And you can also get the idea, like we did... Like I said, this is just a knot with the, the thin cut. This is probably a quarter inch ribbon. She had this one. It's a much more chunkier, heavier ribbon. And it's probably a half inch. So you can see that the sketch is very versatile in the presentation of different papers. You can also see that this paper is very forgiving depending on the different colors. And we got a lot of, like I said, it was a lot of different stuff out of here. Most of the stuff inside, I probably, for the sympathy, will put another, um, you know, sentiment inside. The thank you, generally, I like to leave blank for people because people thanking somebody generally likes to write a message as to what they're thanking. So I, I do like to leave that one. And then the happy birthday to you. I probably will put something more further in here, but like I said, I didn't have even the basic sentiments with me, so I didn't have them there. So I hope you like what we were able to come up with. This is, like I said, one sketch. We have more to do. Um, we are now home from the weekend, but I told her that I'll, I'll prep something else, and then uh, we can spend a day and just knock the rest of that paper out. So I'm hoping you like this series. I would appreciate some thumbs up if you're finding some inspiration out of this. It gives me some idea that I should be doing some more of this. And would love to have you subscribing down below. And I will catch you in the next video. Have a great, have a great day. Bye.